prayer is an answer to every problem jack smith you can't get a man physically healthy until you have gotten him spiritually healthy hello my name is blessing in today's video i'll be sharing with you the power of prayer why not try prayer and without wasting much of your time let's go straight into the video prayer is an answer to every problem like for me do i really believe in this topic if you had asked me this question like way back five years ago i would have said no because i will share a little bit of my life now growing up i have had my family force down prayer my dad especially force down prayer down to my throat and i'm like every night we pray every morning we pray we pray to the extent that we go to school late and my question as a child was if prayer answers all the problems in the world like my dad would usually say why are we dead very poor very very poor like growing up in my neighborhood the houses the area we lived in and the people around us the people in the community everyone prays everyone believes that prayer is the key and i usually would ask if prayer answers every problem why are we praying to be rich and we are still here very poor we barely can afford three square meal a day we barely can afford good housing but we were happy people in the community we were happy you hear people praying from their houses from everywhere and yet in this community we are happy and i know to you listening to this video right now you might be thinking with me as well i pray all the time and yet i am poor and yet all the goals that i set out to achieve i can't achieve any of that you are right for thinking about this but my question to you now is do you really know how do we say we pray to god do we really know a way that we should pray reading this book the power of positive thinking and this is the chapter four so because you may be thinking i pray all the time do you really know how to pray just as doctors go to school to learn things to know how to save life do you really know how to get things from god and when i talk about this topic reading this book have really opened my eyes to so many things and i'm beginning to unlearn there were things that i learned as a kid so um, I've opened myself, my everything up since I started reading this book to really let myself unlearn the things that I thought were right growing up. In this book, it has given us the solution, the key to how we can communicate with God, the best way to pray to God. Sometimes we feel like we must have to kneel down to pray. Reading this book has really helped me to see that in every minute of my life, in every stage of my life, in every day of my activities, I should involve God in everything that I am doing. So I am making this video and I'm speaking to myself as well because there are things that I'm praying to God to for answers. Norman Vincent Pell said in this book, Power of Positive Thinking, that when you pray to God, you should see God as your partner, you should open up to Him, you should see Him as an associate, whether you're praying or not you should have time to meditate to some people meditation is part of prayer because in this book it has really helped me to see that praying is not about kneeling down and we're shouting on top of our voices saying all manner of things for you to start praying you must learn to calm yourself down no matter how busy the environment is no matter what is going on in your life you should learn how to calm down that is the first stage when you are calm then you can apply these techniques when you are praying and the first technique he said in his book is that you must have to prayerize prayerize means telling god what you want it's not about okay maybe if you give me this i'll be happy tell god exactly what you want and have faith and believe it and the second one is for you to picturize it so you're praying to god for a good house for a good home for a happy home for happy kids you have to say it god this is what i want be exact if you have as little faith as anything you can speak to this mountain to tell it to move and go into the ocean 
you're not saying to oh all the mountain no you are taking a particular mountain at a time to say god this is what i want you to move away from my life this is the prayer i want you to answer that is so dear to me this is what i want when you say your prayers you are sending out a vibration prayer is a vibration is sending out vibration from one person to another hold the picture in your mind as well hold it firmly believe that this prayer that you have said is going to be answered and the next thing that's going to happen that you're going to see it actualized sometimes we pray and God does another thing and we think it, the prayer hasn't been answered for like yeah, I'm going to give you example like raising up a baby you put a light like a candle light in front of them they look at the light first I want to touch this light and to them this is beautiful they want to touch the light and what do you do as a mom are you going to let them touch the light no because you know it's going to burn them it's going to hurt them but in them everything the whole energy the whole focus is to go and touch that light and you know what the moment they touches it is going to hurt them and if care is not taken it's going to leave a scar to their fingers and when they grow up they're going to be like oh what was this and you as a mom you're going to tell them oh you were trying to touch a candle light and i let you touch it so you can be quiet and you think they're going to be happy because you allow them you let them touch that fire no they're not going to so this is how it is with us and god and sometimes we, we say things that are horrible okay somebody wronged you god i want you to go and kill that person for me at a point in my life i was always seeking revenge like i don't sometimes i don't think things true and all i want is oh god this person did this to me go and fight for me go and do this go and and all of that and at the end what do you get are you going to be happy god is not even going to answer that prayer because if all we have asked from god he has done it all maybe by now some of us would have been dead by the kind of vibration by the kind of prayers we sent to god that were answered but god in his infinite mercy can answer all that we sometimes pray we pray and it doesn't happen sometimes god saying no to our prayer is a prayer well answered sometimes we are rushing to get a flight trying to travel and god doesn't want us to be there because it may be an end to our lives and we miss the flight and we are going on and on oh god why did you let me miss this why did you and at the end of the day you will still be grateful that god didn't let you make it to that flight on time if you like the video and the topic we are discussing today make sure to hit the subscribe button below and be sure to click on the notification bell so you can get my other updates on when i upload new videos another part to the prayer power that touched me most is when god answers our prayer sometimes we are not willing to accept the answers that he has given and like i said him saying no to some of our prayers is a prayer well answered and another thing try to be grateful even if it doesn't go the way we want we should be grateful and finally he said this for me i feel guilty about this he said we should pray for others both those that have wronged us in the past even those that you and me prayed to die maybe growing up there was this teacher that would flog me like because my mom said something to her or like she went to my mom to patronize her and she didn't get the discount she wanted she would come and put all the anger on me and she would flog me at any little thing and when i noticed this i hated her and all i prayed then as a child was oh god can this teacher die and stop coming to this school and today i'm praying for everyone and i'm praying to god to forgive me for those bad prayers that i said in the past that you should take away resentment away from your life pray for everyone and in this way this is the best prayer you must have made sure to know the techniques prayer rise one picture rise and actualize comes last and i wish us all the best that god is going to answer all our prayers in jesus name amen let me know in the comments below what touched you most about this topic and be sure to check the other book reviews that i've done and be ready to see the rest of the book review as i am doing them chapter by chapter for now stay safe and take care